Once you've looked at a few, out southwest there's lots of really great sandstone outcrops that are wind deposited. Sandstone Aeolian. And you start looking at photos, videos, actual outcrops in the field. After you've looked at aeolian deposits and fluvial deposits, you'll begin to detect the differences. So they're kind of subtle maybe at the beginning because, I mean, obviously moving air and moving water, they're both fluids. So you might have, see, end glacial sediments. That's sediments that are being moved inside the glacier mass. Then you look up there, you see lateral or medial moraine supra-glacial sediments, that's riding on top of the glacier. And then finally, you've got at the bottom, you've got subglacial till. So that's at the bottom of the glacier. And then you've got at the snout there, you've got the outwash sediments. So that meltwater coming from under the glacier is moving usually fairly fine-grained material forming the outwash. You could look at glacial deposits, completely chaotic with no observable structure. Fluvial deposits, you're going to see structure. You're going to see bedding. You're going to see sediment, layered sedimentary deposits, etc. 